Here's a number that might surprise you. About one in three people have astigmatism. That's right. This eye condition is more common than you might think. But what exactly is astigmatism and how can it be fixed? Stick around as I unravel the mystery of this widespread vision problem and explore the solutions that can help you see the world more clearly. So let's talk about what's really going on with astigmatism. It's all about the shape of your eye. So imagine your eye is supposed to be like a round object, much like a baseball or a basketball, but instead it's more shaped like a football, longer than one axis. This irregular shape causes light to focus incorrectly on the retina, which is the back part of your eye, leading to blurry vision at all distances. Now here's how astigmatism can affect your daily life. You might experience eye strain, headaches, or just have trouble seeing clearly at night. It's not just about squinting to see road signs. Astigmatism can impact everything from driving to reading your favorite book. But I don't want you to worry about this because we're going to explore some great solutions that can help you see clearly again. One thing I hear from people is, why is my vision blurry even when I'm wearing glasses? Well, let's talk about the shape of your eye and how it handles light. Think of your eye as a camera. When everything's working perfectly, it captures crisp, clear images. But with astigmatism, it's like the lens of that camera is a bit off. Now here's where things get really interesting. In a normal eye, the cornea, and that's the clear front part of the eye, and the lens inside are nice and smooth, kind of like a basketball. But with astigmatism, one or both of these parts are shaped more like a football. And try to picture this. This irregular shape means that when light enters your eye, it doesn't focus properly on your retina, the back part. In breaking this down even further, the term astigmatism actually means without a point or without a spot. Why? Because in an eye with astigmatism, light doesn't focus to a single point on the retina like it should. Instead, it focuses on multiple points, creating those blurry or distorted images you might be seeing. And here's how it works. When light enters a normal eye, it bends evenly, creating a clear image. But in an eye with astigmatism, the light bends more in one direction than the other. This means that vertical and horizontal lines might not be in focus at the same time. So imagine trying to read a book where some letters are clear and others are fuzzy. That's what astigmatism can do to your vision. So you might now be wondering, is it just my cornea that's this problem? Well, not necessarily. And back to what I discussed earlier, there are really two main types of astigmatism. The first is corneal astigmatism, where the cornea is irregularly shaped. And the second is lenticular astigmatism, where the lens inside your eye is the culprit. In some cases, actually, both the cornea and the lens may be contributing to the problem as well. And ultimately, astigmatism doesn't just affect your vision at one distance. Unlike being nearsighted or farsighted, which typically cause problems at specific distances, astigmatism can make things blurry whether they're near or far away. This is why you might find yourself squinting at your computer and then also struggling to read a road sign. But if that's not enough, there's a little bit more. Astigmatism can also cause some pretty interesting visual effects, especially in low light or at night. When your pupils dilate in dim conditions, more of the peripheral light rays can enter your eye. This can lead to increased glare, halos around lights, or even ghosting of images. So if you've ever noticed that driving at night seems particularly difficult and challenging, astigmatism might be the reason. So now that I've told you all this, you might be thinking, this sounds all complex. And you're right, it is. But there is some good news. Even though astigmatism involves some intricate eye mechanics, it's actually a very common eye condition. And remember how earlier I mentioned that one in three people have it? Well, that means you're in good company. And more importantly, it means there are lots of effective ways to manage it. So how do you know if you're dealing with astigmatism? 
I'll talk about some of the telltale signs that might be sneaking up on you and some of the symptoms. Have you ever noticed your vision getting a bit fuzzy no matter if you're looking at something close or far away? That's one of the key clues. And looking at symptoms, blurry vision is often the first thing people notice. It's like trying to watch a movie through a smudge lens. Everything's just a bit off. But here's the thing, this blurriness doesn't discriminate. So whether you're reading a book or looking at something far away, the blurriness will persist when you have astigmatism. But wait, there's more to it than just blurry vision. You might find yourself dealing with eye strain more often than not. It's like your eyes are working overtime, trying to make sense of what you're seeing. And headaches? Well, there's a lot of reasons to get headaches, but they could also be another sign that astigmatism is at play. And here's an interesting fact, astigmatism can really mess with your night vision. And so driving at night can be extra challenging because the peripheral light rays coming in on the edge of the cornea can be distorted from the astigmatism. It's not just because you're tired. People with astigmatism often report that lights at night look stretched or distorted. And so seeing halos or streaks of light around street lights or car lights is not just annoying, it can make night driving a real challenge. But it's not just night. Astigmatism can play tricks on your eyes throughout the day. You might notice a pulling or stretching sensation in your vision. And when you're reading, some letters might look clear while others are fuzzy, almost like you're seeing ghosting of the text. It's no wonder this can lead to eye fatigue and headaches. And now here's a common misconception that I wanna clear up. You might have heard that reading in dim lights causes astigmatism or even makes it worse. But guess what? That's not backed up by medical evidence. Astigmatism is primarily caused by the irregular shape of your cornea or lens, not by how you use your eyes. It's worth noting that astigmatism isn't always something you're born with. While it's often present from birth, it can also develop later in life and change as you get older. Changes in your eye, like after an injury or surgery, can also lead to astigmatism. And it's more common than you think. Remember that stat I mentioned earlier about one in three people have some degree of astigmatism. But ultimately, here's why it's crucial to pay attention to these signs, especially in children. If left untreated, astigmatism can lead to complications like amblyopia, also known as lazy eye. This in can impact a child's learning and development. That's why regular eye exams are so important, especially for kids who might not realize or be able to explain that their vision isn't quite right. So the main takeaway here if you're noticing any of these signs, blurry vision, eye strain, headaches, trouble seeing at night, it might be time to get your eyes checked out. Don't brush off these symptoms as just being tired or needing more sleep. They can be your eyes trying to tell you something important. And remember, recognizing the signs of astigmatism is the first step towards clearer vision. Now that I've talked about the signs of astigmatism, let's go into some of the different types. You might be surprised to learn that not all astigmatism is created equal. In fact, there are several ways to categorize this eye condition, and understanding these types can help you better grasp what's going on with your vision. I'm gonna start with a big picture. Did you know that astigmatism can be either regular or irregular? Here's the difference. Regular astigmatism is like a football that's perfectly symmetrical. The curvature of your eye is consistent, just not perfectly round. Irregular astigmatism, on the other hand, is more like a football that's been squished or dented. The curvature isn't uniform, which can make vision correction a bit trickier. Now let's talk about where astigmatism actually occurs in your eye. Earlier I talked, there are two main types, corneal and lenticular astigmatism. And just to recap, corneal astigmatism is the most common type. It happens when your cornea, the clear fronted part of your eye, isn't perfectly round. Lenticular astigmatism, on the other hand, occurs when the lens inside your eye is irregularly shaped. Sometimes you might even have both types at once. And talking about the causes of astigmatism, most of the time you're born with it, but you can develop it later in life. Certain eye diseases can also be responsible for development of astigmatism. And here's something that you might not have considered. Eye surgery can sometimes result in astigmatism as a side effect. So let's talk about a specific eye condition that can cause significant irregular astigmatism, keratoconus. This is a degenerative condition where your cornea thins out and bulges into a cone shape. It's not very common, thankfully, 
but it can lead to severe vision problems if left untreated. Now you might be wondering about the role of genetics in all of this. Well, here's the scoop. Astigmatism does have a genetic component. If your parents have astigmatism, you are more likely to have it too. In fact, it's estimated that astigmatism affects about 36.2% of Americans, making it the most common refractive error. Here's a common myth we need to debunk. Reading in poor light or sitting too close to the TV doesn't cause or worsen astigmatism. These habits might cause eye strain, but they won't change the shape of your eye. And remember how I talked about how astigmatism can affect your vision at all distances? That's because it can impact your visual acuity across the board. Whether you're trying to read a book or see a street sign, astigmatism can make everything a bit blurry. So really, what does this all mean to you? Well, understanding this type of astigmatism can help you determine the best treatment options. Whether it's glasses, contact lenses, or even surgery, there are solutions out there to help you see more clearly. Now that I've discussed astigmatism in detail and how it can affect your vision in your daily life, I wanna explore how eye doctors can spot this vision problem. And have you ever wondered about all those fancy machines in the eye doctor's office and what they actually do? Well, get ready to peek behind the curtain and discover some high-tech tools that help diagnose astigmatism. First things first, Let's talk about why regular eye exams are so important. Uh, you know I love this topic. You might think your vision is just fine, but astigmatism can be a master in disguise. The Cleveland Clinic puts it plainly. The only way to find out if you have astigmatism is to get an eye exam. It's like a detective story for your eyes, and your eye doctor is a Sherlock Holmes who can crack the case. So what tools does our eye detective use? Let's start with the classic Foropter. You know that big machine that looks like a futuristic mask? That's the foropter. It's like a choose your own adventure for your eyes. The doctor flips different lenses in front of your eyes, asking which one looks clearer. It's not just for fun. This helps determine the exact prescription you need for glasses or contact lenses. Next up is the auto refractor. This nifty device measures how light changes as it bounces off the back of your eye. It's like a high-tech game of ping pong, but instead of a ball, it uses light to figure out your eye's shape and any refractive errors, including astigmatism. And now let's talk about the keratometer. This tool measures the curvature of your cornea. Remember, that's the clear front part of your eye. It's like a tape measure for your eye's surface, helping to assess how much astigmatism you might have. But wait, there's more. Have you heard of corneal topography? This is where things get really interesting. Imagine creating a 3D map of your eye's surface. That's exactly what corneal topography does. It provides a detailed map of your cornea, showing all of its hills and valleys, and this helps your eye doctor spot any irregularities that might be causing your astigmatism. And now you might be wondering, well, what is the exact measure of astigmatism? Well, it's called diopters. And most corneas have diopters between 39 and 49 diopters. And astigmatism is measured by measuring the difference between the flattest and steepest curves of your corneal surface. It's like measuring the difference between the highest and lowest points on a mini golf course, except the course is your eye. And during your eye exam, your eye doctor will use a combination of these tools to give a complete assessment to measure your astigmatism. And here's something cool. With advanced technology like corneal topographers, eye doctors can create incredibly detailed 3D models of your specific cornea. This gives them a wealth of information about the various curvatures in your eye, which is crucial for accurately diagnosing as well as treating astigmatism. And so the next time you're at your eye doctor, you'll now know exactly what's going on with all those fancy machines. They're not just there to look impressive, they're the key to unlocking the mystery of your vision and helping you see the world more clearly. Now that I've uncovered the mysteries of astigmatism, I'm gonna talk about the exciting part, how to fix it. You might be wondering, is there hope for my blurry vision? And the answer is a resounding yes. There are several ways to clear up that distorted view and help you see the world in crisp, clear detail again. And I'm gonna start with the most common solution, eyeglasses. But these aren't just any glasses. For astigmatism, you'll need special lenses called cylindrical lenses. Think of them as custom shaped to the counteract the football-like shape of your eye. 
these lenses work by bending light in a way that compensates for your eye's irregular shape, bringing everything into focus. Now, if you're not a fan of glasses, don't worry. Contact lenses are another great option. There are a few types that work well for astigmatism. First up are toric lenses. These clever little lenses have different powers in different areas, kind of like a map of your eye's unique shape. They even have a special marking to help them sit in just the right spot on your eye. But wait, there's more. If soft lenses aren't your thing, you might want to try rigid gas permeable lenses. Even though this is older technologies, these firmer lenses can actually mask the irregular shape of your cornea, giving you super sharp vision. And for those with more severe astigmatism, there are scleral lenses. These are larger lenses that vault over your cornea, creating a new, perfectly smooth surface for light to pass through. And here's one thing you may not have heard of, orthokeratology, or ortho-K for short. It's like braces for your eyes, but a little bit cooler. You wear special contact lenses while you sleep, and they gently reshape your cornea overnight. When you wake up, you can see clearly without any lenses at all. It's not permanent though, but it's a great option if you're not ready for surgery. And that bridges into, speaking of surgery, let's talk about some long-term solutions. LASIK is probably the one you've heard of most. It's a quick procedure where a laser reshapes your cornea to help you correct your vision but LASIK isn't the only game in town. There's also PRK, LASIK, and SMILE. These are all slightly different ways of reshaping your cornea to fix astigmatism. And now here's something interesting for those of you dealing with cataracts and astigmatism. During cataract surgery, your doctor can actually address two different problems by implanting a special lens called a toric intraocular lens. These lenses not only replace your cloudy natural lens, which is the cataract, but also correct your astigmatism at the same time. Pretty neat, right? Remember, the best treatment for you depends on your specific situation. Your eye doctor will consider things like the severity of your astigmatism, your lifestyle, and your overall eye health when recommending a solution. The good news is, with all of these options available, there's a good chance you'll find a treatment that works perfectly for you. So whether you choose glasses, contacts, or decide to go for a more permanent solution, surgery, you know that clear vision is within reach. No more squinting at road signs or struggling to read your favorite book. With the right treatment, you'll be seeing the world in high definition in no time. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned a lot. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.